everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, we will be talking about uh, microdata issues that you get in your Google Merchant account. Um, so mostly when you uh, get these issues, it's a couple of days or a day after when you've added your new data feed. So this can be through CSV file, XML or spreadsheet or API, uh, you can have this issue. Now, what you have to take into consideration is that the issue is not from the data feed itself, but from your landing page. Um, Google automatically fetches your data by crawling your landing page and cross-references the data uh, from the landing page to your data feed. Um, so for example, uh, the issue can start happening when you have multiple prices on your landing page. A lot of e-commerce uh, merchants have, for example, a VAT inclusive, exclusive, recommended retail price, um, sale price, and, and lots of different pricing. And this can confuse the bot because it cannot identify which price to take. Um, so to correct this, you need to add microdata to your landing page. You can use some data to your existing format. So you just add a couple of um, extra elements within the uh, HTML element, or you can add meta tags, which is a hidden format, uh, which doesn't touch, or you do not need to restructure your, um, your, your elements. But uh, the link for, for adding the, the, the meta tags is in the description before, below. But you have to be aware that if you already have existing data, uh, micro, micro uh, data, then you have to basically keep everything together. Because if you have, for example, at the top you have uh, micro data for title, price, and, and etc., and you have it below again, Google doesn't know which one to use. Um, so you need to have one uniformed micro data set. Um, you can do this by testing your, uh, your landing page from Google's uh, structured data testing tool, which is also in the, in the link in the tutorial. And uh, that's how you can test it. So you have to make sure that you have one set of micro data and that it is uh, correct for your product. Uh, once you have uh, installed this uh, data, be aware that it will take up to 30 days before Google will remove all warnings. Why is this? Now, Google doesn't uh, co uh, correlate your landing page with the data feed every single day. So it will check your landing pages throughout the whole website maybe every day, but not every single product every day. Uh, that's why the issues in your um, uh, Google Merchant Center will still be there for quite a long time, but you will see if you've installed it correctly, you will see that the numbers will drop uh, periodically over the days or the weeks. Um, but actually you can disable this feature altogether, but I will warn you that I recommend keeping this enabled because it keeps Google with fresh data. Uh, that's the whole initial idea of why Google enables this is so that they can check and uh, ensure that the customer sees in Google Shopping the, the freshest uh, price um, because sometimes you might uh, change the prices during the day and if you have automated updates enabled, it will refresh this. Um, so if, you, if for example, uh, your data feed it does not have the correct price within a day, so after 24 hours, then uh, it will start giving you warnings and suspends the products. So I re recommend having that and update your data feed every single day. So I've said you can actually disable it. Uh, you can do this by going into Google Merchant and go to the left corner settings and then automated updates and disable it. If you have a multi-account center, then you can do this at the top level of your account. So that's pretty much uh, micro data. Um, so it's, it's related to the landing page information uh, that Google cannot identify what's going on. And that is why you get the warnings. It is not related to the data feed whatsoever. Um, so please click on the tutorial below if you want to edit your um, landing pages. There are also links to tutorials for uh, 
well-known platforms, for example, Magento, OpenCart, Shopify, how to add those coding to those platforms in a very detailed uh, explained uh, tutorial. So if you have any questions, I suggest leaving a comment below. I'm happy to answer every single question. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.